Good morning, everyone. It is a foggy early morning here in North Georgia. It's about 4.30 in the morning right now, and I'm getting ready to pack up my stuff and head south for a couple days yet again. It's that time of year where it's still a little bit too cold up north to be able to reliably find stuff. I'll be making a lot of rocket run trips down south for a couple of days um, until we start warming up up here. But I'm going to meet up with Will, and uh, we're going to get after it for the next couple of days and hopefully be able to turn up some snakes. Um, it is a little bit chilly out here, but I don't know if you can hear the frogs calling in the background. It's warm enough that the peepers and chorus frogs have been going hard all night. And uh, I definitely fully expect to see at least some kind of snake action today. So, anyways, I'm going to get this drive over with, and I will see you guys in a few seconds your time and a couple hours my time. I made it. We're getting ready to go hit some flips and see if we can find some snakes. <laughs> well, Matt. Do it, do it. Oh, yeah. be that is shrews. ridiculous that there was not a snake under that. Oh, wait, are there shrews? I think they're voles. Yeah, look at that. This is weird. I don't have those back up north, I don't think. All right, guys, here's our first herp of the day. Nice little skink. This is either a broadhead or a southeastern five line. I'm leaning towards juvenile broadhead just because of how big it is. It still kind of looks like a juvenile. Uh, regular five line skinks are going to be basically adult pattern at this size, but. Look at that hole right there, dude. I'm going to bring it towards us. I'm going to grab it with my hand. Mice. That's a good piece of tin. That's obscene. Well, the snakes aren't having it, but here's a couple of squirrel tree frogs. One right there. One right there. These are really common green tree frog look alike, but in the winter when they're not colored up, they're a little more brown like this. Come on, get! Go back to where you came from, brother. Come on. Gank. So finally, we get on the board with this nice looking corn snake mat flipped. And we've got a nice big broadhead here. So definitely the best stop of the day so far. Oh, damn, we've the been grinding. Snake. Yeah. <laughs> it's been tough. But that's a good snake. So, our token snake of the day, if we don't see anything else. It's not a king, but I love corns. I don't get to see very many of them. And uh, this one is absolutely beautiful. So, really excited about this guy. Um, we're going to get a couple quick photos, and we're going to put him back in his little collapsed building. Really cool. First snake of the day slash trip. Hopefully not the last. Although it is like 2 o'clock in the afternoon at this point, so it might be the only thing we see today, but that's okay. What a good looking snake. Like I said, as usual, the target today was king snakes, but if this is all we see, I'm okay with that. Alright, little guy. You ready? Yeah. Back to your pile. Back to them corny layers. He doesn't even want to go in the tent. He wants to go in the grass. That's fine. You do you, corn snake. Oh, he's going oh, he's going in there. Nice. I think it's probably going to need to come towards you. But we'll clear some of this grass off. All right. Ready when you are? Yep. Rodents abound and ants. This is weird. Can you leave him in situ? Yeah, I'm not gonna catch him. I'm just gonna try to. I wanna get a picture of this for my project. This is perfect. I'm dead serious. I'll just get an iPhone shot, actually. This is a uh, little six line race runner just basking on this tire. Kind of strange. First one of these for the year, though. I'm certain we'll see more, but generally a pretty uncommon lizard here in Georgia, but a whip tail like a lot of the ones we see out west. Well, Today wasn't quite what we were hoping for, but it was, awesome. it was a great time. Anyways, we're chilling back at Will's cabin and uh, ate some food. And now we're basically getting ready to call it a day. I uh, 
did not sleep much last night at all. So it wasn't bad though. We had a good time. We found a corn snake. So anyways, we're going to get up in the morning and go try a different strategy. We're going to be mostly hiking around on foot tomorrow. So we'll see if that does us better. As it would turn out, we're not done herping. It started raining, so we're going to try to find some salamanders. Probably won't be successful, but we're going for it. First herp, Southern Toad. Sure, we're gonna see more, but we're still in town, so I'm gonna move them off the road and keep cruising. Let's see. We got our second frog still in the city. That's big, whatever it is. Yeah, we're literally around the block, by the way. <laughs> it is. It looks like another frog. toad. It is, there's people on that porch. Dude, that's a big toad. That is huge. Wow. Look at him next to my foot. Big southern toad. Wow. He's pretty too. That's a good looking frog. Yeah. Right there. Wow. Spadefoot toad right there. Sitting and uh, calling. I hope we get Dude, him calling Dude, that's awesome. Video. That is f Oh, look, 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 he's coming. He's coming this way. Whoa. Oh, he went under. Scared him. There's a southern toad right there. And that oh, one. Oh, another spade. Oh, yeah. this one's kind of nice. Whoa, look at that one, it's huge. Oh, dude, that one's yeah. sick. I'm That's catching awesome. that one. Dude, there's so many of them. Yeah, I... Wow. Look at this, Noah's looking at two spades. There's a, this one's fairly yellow. If Look at these guys. A nice, really yellow one. I would love to photograph it. So yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. I would... So I wasn't expecting it to be so loud out here. That one's an bro. I think it is. No, he's not. He's just defensive. But yeah, these three toads were literally just on the road. And check this. Whoa! Look at that big yeah, no, guy. He keeps calling from right there. Watch. That's a huge spade foot. So I think this right here is actually a cluster of spadefoot eggs. There's tadpoles in here too. But these uh, these little clusters right here are unlike anything I've ever seen. And the uh, only other frog calling in here is southern toads and they lay eggs in spindles. So pretty sure these are spadefoot. He's just gonna bring his fly So there's a spadefoot hanging out with the eggs. Swim off, but there's tons of eggs right here. Absolutely tons. What is that, like, low growl? I think it's a leopard frog. Really? So there's a really nice spade for right there. Will's going to try to catch it. Wait, where'd it go? You see it? It's right, right there. In the middle of the bright. Oh, yeah. That's just in the middle of the street back there. Two spade foots? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. No way. Wow, he's Oh, that's nice. beautiful. And uh, I didn't because I was... Didn't want to drop my thing in the water because I came awfully close to just eating it in the water there. Oh, yeah. I may as well so, as well. <laughs> here's these two really nice ones we caught. Both incredible. Those eyes are insane. Much more lively on this nice wet and warm night than the uh, last time you saw the species in my videos. So here's one of these spade foots in the road. You can hear that growling kind of call in the background. And that's these guys. Really cool looking little frogs, especially these nice green ones that we get around here in South Georgia. Oh, I guess not. All right, guys. Well, that was a pretty fun little brief stop and look at frogs. Uh, we didn't see any of the salamanders like we were hoping to see, but uh, at least we got to round out the video here with a few amphibians. But anyways, I'm going to be getting out with these guys again tomorrow, and we are going to be mostly hiking. Good morning, everybody. It is a misty but very warm morning here in South Georgia, and I'm actually heading north to hit a couple of areas in Central Georgia today with Will. I'm not going to be able to get out in the field tomorrow, so I am going to try to get a whole video in today. But yeah, it's, it should be a pretty good day to hike snakes up in Central Georgia, so I'm going to try that out, and uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck with that. Um, but we're going to stop at a flip site first, so we're going to hit that here in a second. Alright, we are in Habitat. It's a little bit gloomy, but it's nice and warm. It's around 65 degrees already. The overnight was around 62. So, warm start. It's supposed to get up to around 70 to 75 today. I'm not sure if it'll end up getting quite that warm, but we're gonna find out. Um, pretty confident stuff will be basking today though, but it might take a little bit for it to warm up and dry out before stuff starts coming out in numbers. So, 
we're gonna get after it and I will keep you guys updated. Hopefully we're in for a pretty good day, but I'm not really sure. There's our first snake of the day. And uh, I guess he's not quite ready to participate in today yet. Sticking his head out, little Eastern cotton mouth. But uh, I'm gonna leave him alone and maybe we'll come back later and help you a little further out. Nice. I guess it's getting to be that time of year where getting rained on is just a regular occurrence. It is doing this annoying misty stuff right now. It's super humid. It's super humid and feels really warm. I'm sweating bullets just from hiking around in this humidity. But, uh, I would think it would be pretty good weather for snakes either way, but we have not seen anything since that cottonmouth. All right, guys, just got our next snake of the day in C2 here at the stump. Peeked down in there, and that is actually exactly how I spotted him. If I can get it to focus. I can't get it to focus, but you can see him. There's a rat snake down there. I'm going to get him out. All righty, guys. Well, there we go. Next snake of the day. Little uh, yearling or so rat snake, probably born in the fall. Had a pretty good grow. All right, there we go. Second snake of the day. First one in hand. Nice little juvenile eastern rat snake. We might see more of these guys today. They're pretty common here. We usually see a couple, but pretty good start. It finally stopped misting, so hopefully the snakes will be a little more prone to come out now. But I'm gonna take pictures of this guy and put him back in his tree. All right, anyways, nothing crazy, but second snake of the day. We're gonna put him back in his tree and keep moving. There are two more rat snakes. Back in there. Can't really tell that that's two, but it is. Make it light on the better. Here is the third rat snake. Oh yeah, look at that. Yet another one. Come on, phone. There we go. Anyways, three of these guys hanging out here, making four rats for the day total now. So rat snake number four at this spot was actually down in that crack, but he dipped before I could get any video of him, so. Five total rat snakes for the day now. There's that guy. My phone doesn't like focusing back in this crack. It's drizzling again. I really think the snakes are gonna be pretty hesitant to come out if it's doing this. So we might be kind of in for a rough rest of the day if it doesn't stop raining here soon. It's getting a little bit late too. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. All right guys, well, while it was raining on us, we came over here to this little mucky area and kicked around and got in rapid succession, three Southern red salamanders. Here's a look at these three guys here in their mucky habitat. Really cool little salamanders. Awesome to see them here. And uh, if we don't see anything else today, these guys always make it worth getting out. So we're gonna let them go back under their logs that we found them under. All righty, Southern red salamanders. If you haven't noticed, this subspecies is duller and uh, just not quite as vibrant looking as the northerns and the other subspecies, but still a really cool animal to see in the wild, so. So we're over here in this area where Old Reliable, the cottonmouth lives, and uh, I didn't see him at first, but he actually ventured kind of far from his hole today. It's right there. We're gonna get a better look at him. Phase two, lots of herpers find him. Hey, buddy. He's bad eyes on this side. The sun finally started poking out just a tiny bit, and it's finally drier. It's been misting all day, and it's not supposed to mist. But uh, we're happy to see this guy. It's a good sign. That's kind of nuts. So one cool thing about this snake is he's got that bad eye. But uh, because he's got that bad eye, he has to turn his whole head to look at you. So if you get his attention, he does this really awkward-looking head swivel. But... 
Either way, we don't want to mess with him too much. He's a really, <laughs> look at that. He's cute, he's like a dog. He is. He's like a puppy dog that knows us. But, he's smiling at us. Anyways, all reliable, the cotton mouth. Doing a weird uh, side eye at Will because he can't see him normally because he only has one eye. Cool. So right over there is where we came. We came to check and see if that first cottonmouth of the day was back out. We didn't see him, but then right here is a big rat snake out on the crawl. Like it's springtime, which it is. Early spring has definitely arrived when you start seeing snakes start to crawl away from hibernacula like this. Really cool. All right, guys, this is a nice sized, healthy rat snake. Really dark, pretty close to being a, like a typical black rat. Let's see if he's gonna be well-tempered. Good boy, chill out. That's a good looking snake, dude. I like the white, yeah, it's quite a bit of white. White highlights. But he kind of just puffed it up when he was scared for a second. Yeah. All right, guys, well, our first snake out on the crawl of the day, this really nice looking rat snake who keeps trying to go down random holes in the ground. But uh, good looking snake and definitely a good sign that this guy's out crawling around. Spring is here and uh, hopefully it's here to stay. All right, we're just gonna leave this guy to it. I think his hole probably is actually close to here because he keeps going under the leaves like he's looking for it. But uh, really cool. Snakes are out and moving, so we're going to keep at it. All right, guys, I think this might be a familiar face, but there is a king snake sitting right there. Awesome. We're going to get, I think this might be the same one we saw earlier in the year, but uh, he's just chilling right there, so we're going to take some photos. All right, guys, this is definitely the same snake we saw on January 2nd. You can tell because of the really cool stippling but uh, he seems to be doing okay. I was a little worried that he was gonna get flooded up and not make it through the winter, but he seems to be doing relatively well considering he hasn't lost too much more weight since we saw him. Once it starts warming up here soon, hopefully he'll be able to get some meals in him and get back into tip top shape. But really awesome way to end the day if we don't see anything else, but I'm really hopeful that we will now that it's warmed up and it's stopped drizzling on us, so. All right, guys, just one more look at this snake. You can see he does have that super distinctive stippling in between his bands. But he's got a couple of water blisters that I think he got from trying to hibernate in a low-lying area. And uh, he got flushed up by all the rain back in the beginning of the new year. And uh, he seems to be doing okay now, considering. And uh, he's made his way over to a drier area, so he's not really having to worry about those water blisters. You can see they're actually healing up quite a bit, but really good looking king snake. I wanna see this guy in the spring once he sheds, so. We're going to let him go, wish him the best of luck over the next couple weeks while we still have a little bit of cool weather, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing this guy throughout the year. So I spotted our next snake of the day, which was a rat snake right there, but he sucked his head back in a hole. But then I noticed this cotton mouth, who we've seen a couple of times. Really? Oh yeah, this guy's here too. That's also a regular. Two cottons and a rat snake right here. Never seen that rat snake, but I have seen these cottons. This one's really cool looking. It sucks that that rat snake sucked back because it would have been really cool in C2 to have these two guys right here next to each other. But this is a really good looking little cotton mouth. I really like how yellow he is. He's mostly buried, but good looking snake. Anyways, we're gonna leave him alone. Will has a turtle over here. Oh, nice. I wouldn't pick him up. Well, he's already in a shell either way. But... Uh, looks like a... Eastern. Where are you? Come out. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion that this is an Eastern mud turtle, but... Either way, pretty cool. Nice little random find. This is kind of interesting. And the first one of these I've seen in a while, uh, they kind of disappear when it's cold out. It's a nice big fence lizard right here. And he is apparently just indifferent to me being here and picking him up. He is pretty cold to the touch. Interesting. Either way, this is a big female fence lizard. You see she doesn't have that blue belly. So she's got a kind of gnarly scar there on the back, but I'm gonna let her go. <laughs> Super chill. 
So it is absolutely pissing rain on us now, but that timber that we found basking outside this tree right here is sitting there in the rain. Right there. All right, we're walking up to this guy slowly. But you can see him right there. Just as beautiful as last time we saw this guy. That is awesome. Crazy that he's just sitting here in this rain. The rain's wet up now, but that was really unpleasant as a human, and I'm warm-blooded, so. Beautiful canebrake rattlesnake basking here today. I think it's like, what, February 12th or something like that? Valentine's Day is, is tomorrow, I believe, for the next day. So, give you an idea of the time of year. Doesn't get much better than that. And this right here is a perfect example of why I don't like messing with the rattlesnakes, I find. Because if you just leave them alone and you don't feel the need to pick them up and try to act like a tough guy handling them, then you can come back and find the same snakes sitting in the same spot over and over again. So, that is a big part of why you don't see me mess with rattlesnakes on this channel, because as someone who values the snake and uh, wants to be able to see it over and over again, the best thing to do is to just take photos of them as they are, leave them alone, and you can come back and look at them whenever you want. And in the process, I'm sure it's pretty common sense, but if you're messing with a snake to the point that you stop seeing it, you're obviously not doing any favors. This is such a beautiful snake. I'm glad we got to see him again today. Um, we're just going to take a couple quick photos and leave him right there. Well, we have had a couple of recaptures today on the coolest snakes, but uh, I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen different stuff. But I mean, there has been a lot of overall herp activity, so I've been pretty happy with how today's gone so far. Um, we probably got another hour and a half or so of uh, good light before it starts to kind of cool off on us so we're gonna take advantage of that and see what else we can find this is kind of interesting we found a box turtle shell um if you'll notice it has two holes in the back i don't know if that's some sort of mark or like i really have no idea what caused that it, it is right there where the vertebrae attach or where the bones would kind of come together so it's definitely possible will suggest that that could be what's going on there but it looks really unnatural, kind of weird. I've never seen it before either. You'd think if that was like a natural thing, we'd uh, see it more often and deal with like dead box turtle shells, which are everywhere because nothing eats these. So you see tons of these in areas where there's a lot of box turtles. So Will just spotted a cane, another one, right? Should be, he's right there. A little bit of a better look at this snake so awesome such a weird little habitat we're like in these rocks that are right above this creek and a super disturbed man-made habitat and apparently this rattlesnake likes it he's pretty tolerant of us being here you can see his eye kind of through there but the snake is definitely not coming out of there even if we wanted to because all these vines so we're just going to leave him alone but kind of a crappy look at him but at least you can see him and see that there's a snake there really cool that's a cool thing though, actually, from the video. I'm glad we actually came over here. This is an area that I don't usually hit because it's so historically been so rough to me. Just never had much luck right here. Definitely paid off today. Second timber of the day. All right, guys, next snake of the day. I think this is our sixth or seventh little rat snake. Uh, well, a couple of them weren't little, but we didn't get a good look at them. But uh, anyways, really nice little guy. About the same size as that first one I showed you guys, but really cool. The rat snakes have definitely been around today. A lot of them haven't been out. We've been seeing them in cracks and stuff, but this guy was under a little piece of bark. Will just flipped a nice slimy. It's the first one of these I've seen today. So that's a nice looking one, dude. I like it when they have top. those irregular spots like that. Cool looking. Oh, he's giving me the goop. Nice. It's actually pissing rain right now, so we're gonna call it a day. But it was a good one. I'll see Will later. Probably try to get together one more time before he heads back to the Great White North. It is absolutely boring. Will's doing an outro. 